Hey everybody, it's Ori from Astro Web, and uh, hey everybody, it's Ori from Astro Web, and wanted to explain something quick about uh, tracking your links on your page, or uh, basically being able to track and, and figure out uh, who's clicking on what and what works better. So in the example, we're going to give one of our clients here, Total Watch Repair. Um, so the example of what we did is we wanted to try to measure if uh, more people are interested in clicking on the free repair estimate or more people are looking for, for uh, a new watch band strap. So you see there's one button here, one button here, each go to a different page, a different service. And what we wanted to do is to measure when people come to our home page, how many people, wh what is more attractive and uh, basically measure what works better so we might be able to switch or change the buttons or stuff like that. Uh, so very simply, all we basically did is we included a little of analytics code in uh, the, the actual link. So uh, if you go here to the link, you can see right here is on the bottom of the screen the href. And what we did is we added this extra uh, um, code to analytics, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, which is something like this. So uh, let's let's say this is our link right here. We just added this on click, and we actually track a click, and we called um, the pop button. We called get an estimate smaller, and the watch strap we actually called battery. Okay, we just called it battery. So what we basically want to do is see what's more attractive and and kind of get get conclusions based on the data. Okay, so um, after we set that up, we let it run for a while, and then uh, what I want to do is go to the analytics for it, go to the events, and actually see see what's more popular. So um, I'm not going to dive into all of the an analysis of what we're trying to look for, but just show you a little bit for it. So when you go to analytics on the left-hand side, you want to go to content, events, and then top events or overview. Right now we're on the overview. So you can see um, under action, this is the get an estimate smaller, and this is the actual battery. Um, and so very simply, we already can, it, can learn a quick thing about it. So the battery and get an estimate. So if you notice, the get an estimate is on the top. And, and a, by uh, conventional thought, the top, whatever button is higher, should get more clicks. But for some reason, The, uh, the battery actually received more. And actually, I just noticed something that we actually tagged it incorrectly. It should say strap, but for some reason, we use battery. Um, but it, it, basically, this one is getting more clicks than this. And so the, you know, now we have to kind of figure out, oh, um, why is that? You know, is it because of the colors of the band? Is it because more people are looking for straps? And, and based on that, are we getting more traffic, more a Google traffic or search engine traffic for, for straps rather than watch repair? And so we have to kind of come to conclusions and figure it out, let it run for a while so we have a lot of data, and then uh, figure out if we want to switch and, and A-B test or stuff like that. So um, hope that it, it, you know, this kind of gives you a little food for thought, uh, some ideas, and you know we'll think about it as well for our clients and try to help and, and uh, work on the website. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any, any questions with event tracking in general with this video or more complicated and more detailed things. Thank you.